Chappie's Tiki Bar. I'm Chappie. That's my little Chihuahua Mookie in the corner there. Uh, we've got a great episode today. Uh, Mookie and I are cooking something up. Uh, I'm going to make some Kalua pork. That's uh, Hawaiian pork. And I'm going to put it in a uh, Cuban sandwich. So this Hawaiian Kalua pork is the actually uh, the pork they put in the ground and they wrap it in tea leaves. Uh, I'm going to do a little hack and do it in my slow cooker with a little liquid smoke and plantain leaves. And I can tell you though, those sandwiches turned out amazing. Uh, but first up, we're going to do a quick whiskey review. I got some Tabor Corn Bourbon Whiskey. And this comes from Bridgeland Distillery, which was voted Alberta's Distillery of the Year. So basically, they used uh, Tabor Corn, which is... Uh, uh, famous corn, at least famous in Western Canada. Uh, I know this because I grew up in Tabor, Alberta. Uh, and of course, uh, Tabor is also famous not only for the corn, but they have a corn festival every year at the last weekend in August called Corn Fest. And there's fireworks, chili cook-offs, live music, and of course, corn. Uh, and I grew up eating this corn. It is the best corn, at least in, I would say, Western Canada. If you're interested in uh, going to Corn Fest, you can go to visittabor.com. Uh, so this is Southern Alberta's largest free outdoor festival, uh, live music, entertainment, activities, and you guessed it, corn. Uh, so without any further ado, we're going to uh, do a little... Uh, a uh, tasting uh, and a review of the Haber Corn Bourbon Whiskey. So a little bit about uh, the whiskey. So as I said, it's made for with uh, Alberta's prized Haber Corn. Uh, the mash bill consists of 60% uh, Haber Corn, 32% barley, and 8% wheat from Penhold, Alberta, another uh, rural area in Alberta. Uh, so this is distilled twice in a copper pot still, aged in a virgin charred American white oak cast for three years and bottled at cast strength. And I can see here it is 63.7% alcohol volume, which is, whew, you don't want to um, go near an open flame with this. All right, without any further ado, let's give it a little taste. So to the nose, I'm getting a little vanilla, a little caramel, a mango and citrus notes, and a little bit of uh, cocoa. It sm smells good for how freaking strong it is. All right, we'll give it a little try. All right, I'm still getting the vanilla on the palate. And then a lot of spices. So I got uh, cinnamon, black pepper, uh, nutmeg. A little bit of ginger too. And then the finish, uh, it hits all the notes. You got sweet, spicy, sour, and bitter. This is a fantastic whiskey. So uh, again, if you get a chance, go to Corn Fest in Tabor, Alberta, where I grew up. And uh, got to give this Tabor Corn uh, Bourbon Whiskey a try. Um, very potent, but delicious. All right, coming up next, uh, Mookie and I are going to do some Kahlua pork. That's going to take about 12 hours. And then uh, I'm going to take the pulled pork and make uh, Cuban sandwiches. So check it out. <music> All right, all right, all right. Uh, so I'm gonna do my Kahlua pork for my Cuban sandwiches. Uh, so I got a nice uh, pork butt here. It looks like the fat is on the side. So I'm gonna wrap it in leaves and I want, I'm gonna put, put, the, put the leaves on the counter and then put the fat side down, uh, wrap it up and then that way, um, when I put it in the slow cooker, the fat side's going to be facing up 
and the fat's going to render down into the meat. Uh, now, so for Kahlua pork, that's the Hawaiian pork that you see at Luo's. They usually do a whole hog and they wrap it in tea leaves and they put it underground. So it, it's going to get a, a real smoky flavor and it's going to get a flavor from the leaves. Uh, now I'll get a couple substitutions. I'm going to add some liquid smoke. And then instead of tea leaves, I have plantain leaves. Um, and then obviously Hawaiian sea salt would work best. I just have some uh, nice uh, pink sea salt. And um, so very simple, we'll, we'll just um, aggressively salt it and then give it a little bit of the liquid smoke. You can really overdo it. Like if you're putting liquid smoke in a sauce, you can put too much and then it just overpowers it. So we're just gonna be, do like a, uh, probably like a tablespoon or even less of the liquid smoke. Uh, this is hickory. I find hickory uh, smells and tastes a lot like bacon, which can't be bad. I'm just gonna wash my hands really quick. Okay, so I think first we'll give it an aggressive salting, both sides. All right, we might as well just do the liquid smoke now. Uh, all right, not too much, like we don't want to overdo it. A little bit more salt. And I, I don't think, I don't think you can over salt it. <laughs> All right. And so, it, like I said, I'm using a plantain leaves instead of uh, tea leaves. Uh, I think banana leaves are, are a good substitute too. So we're just going to wrap it. We'll put aside a couple pieces to put on top. All right, we're going to reserve this for the top and then I'm going to wrap the rest in the banana leaves. Sorry, I, I said banana leaves, but they're plantain leaves. There's my pork butt. So like I said, we want the fat side down because we're going to wrap it and then put the fat side up in the slow cooker. All right, we'll get that in the slow cooker. And this is going to go like maybe like 12 hours. Okay, so it's all nestled in there nicely. And then um, this is optional, but uh, I want to keep it moist. So we're going to add some uh, chicken stock. All right, a few more leaves on top. We're going to cover it and that's going to go for a good 12 hours. All right, we'll see you tomorrow.
Thanks for watching another episode of Chappie's Tiki Bar. I'm Chappie and this is Mookie. What's that Mookie? Mookie says life is hard. That's just the way it goes. But sometimes it goes the other way. See you next time on Chappie's Tiki Bar.